I am Anil Kumar and here is a test problem for you on cosine law application. ABCD is a square with side length 10 cm and triangle PBC is equilateral. Determine the length AP to one decimal place. So here is the squares that means these are all 90 degrees and the side of the squares are 10 centimeters. Let's write it down. The side of the square is 10 centimeters. So this is 10 centimeters for you. Equilateral triangle means these sides are also 10 centimeters. So all these sides given to you are 10 centimeters. What you need to find is length of AP. That means you need to find AP. So this is what you need to find. So you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. To find AP, what we can do is, we can calculate the angle PBA, right? We know that this angle is 90 degrees, perfect. Now here we have equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means what? 60 degrees, right? So this angle is 60 degrees, right? So we are left with 30 degrees from 90. So we have 30 degrees angle here. So now we know two sides. One of the sides is both the sides are in fact 10 centimeters right so both sides are 10 centimeters with 30 degrees and we need to find AP so once you analyze like this it becomes a very very simple question correct so from here you can apply the cosine law and say AP is equals to square root of AB square plus PB square minus 2 times AP times PB times cos of the angle which in this case is 30 degrees right so that gives you the answer correct so that is how you could easily find this value since we know a both all sides are 10 let me just place 10 here so we get 10 times 10 cos of 30 degrees right so that should give you the answer so we can use the calculator and calculate this out right so so the calculation is a square root of 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times cos of 30 degrees right uh, equals to 5.176 correct so that becomes the dimension of AP, right? So we can write down the answer. Answer is AP is equals to approximately, let's say 5.2 centimeters, right? So one decimal place. So round it to one decimal place and write down your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.